Seasonic, the heart of your system. I'm Neil Woodard for Kick Guru here with Netgear at IFA 2019. We're looking at Orbi. I actually own some of this Orbi gear myself. However, that's the old Orbi. That's the less interesting Orbi. This is the new Orbi. This is Wi-Fi 6. This is world first stuff. The model codes for the old Orbi, if you are familiar with them, are BK304050, depending on exactly how many uh, bands it supports. And here we have Orbi Wi-Fi 6, Orbi K852. The new Orbi's been given a radical overhaul in terms of spec, also unfortunately in terms of price. The dual pack, so the router plus one repeater, is going to be 799 in the UK. Triple pack is going to be 999. We're talking serious money. I think I paid about 500 pounds for my triple pack of 40 series Orbi. Uh, they are trying to sell this uh, as a five-year investment. If you do it that way, that's fine. Nonetheless, a shock, £800 and £1,000 for your new Orbi. Internally, the hardware uh, received a significant upgrade. So you've got more memory for one thing, but the processor. In the original Orbi, you're looking at a dual-core processor running at one point something gigahertz. The, in these new Orbis, you're looking at a quad-core processor, and it's like 2.4 gigahertz. So you've got double the cores, significant significantly more speed. Bandwidth has gone up significantly. If we move that killer 1650 interface card over there next to its Intel uh, competitor, I'll come to that in just a second, and we turn the router. Here we have 2.5G Ethernet. That's for your WAN connection. At the moment you're looking at one gig for your WAN. Unless in the UK you have a cable connection, basically Virgin Media, you're not going to be looking at doing a gigabit. That's just not going to happen. Uh, however, we are due to receive major upgrades in the UK over the next few years. So 2.5G is going to become useful. Then you have your LAN connections, but obviously with Orbi, it's all about the Wi-Fi. And for that, you need client devices. Now, we know full well Wi-Fi 6 has been a big thing with uh, Intel 10th Gen Ice Lake. However, it's also an existing thing with certain Intel laptops that run on 9th Gen processors, obviously as an add-in card. There's nothing to prevent you taking your existing laptop, popping open the casing and upgrading the Wi-Fi card. That's quite a straightforward thing to do. It's a couple of screws. You do have to be allowed to do it by the BIOS. You also have to have the dual antenna connections. If you haven't got those, it's not going to yield results. But in principle, change the uh, Wi-Fi card inside your laptop, your client's now up to speed. Obviously, you need a decent internet connection at the other end of the equation, otherwise it's all complete waste of time. But in principle, Wi-Fi 6 is going to be the thing. And I've got a cheat sheet here from Netgear where they're talking about how many streams they can handle and such like. Basically, every number throughout the entire system is significantly broader, wider, faster than existing. But it comes down to clients need to be fast and your internet connection needs to be fast. If that works for you, then this is essentially the knitting that joins it all together. Uh, all be RBK 30, 40 and 50 is good stuff, but this, the new generation of Wi-Fi 6, that's the future. We're familiar with Nighthawk. These are routers that have roughy tufty external antennae, loads of lights, a big GUI such that you can dive inside to deal with how your router is working, setting up your guest network and such like. Uh, this is actually a subtle update. This is the XRM570 that has gained a repeater. So if you want to extend your network, it's a mesh. Uh, therefore, that as a kit will appear as a single SSID. One password, one SSID. This is clearly a theme that has expanded from Orbi. One SSID, one password. Similar story there with the Nighthawk XR700. Moving over here, we've got spaceships. So we've got a couple of existing products and then a new one. This is the RAX80, which is an eight-stream Wi-Fi 6 router. Moving across. REX120 12 stream router. You can see the colors different, but the principle is the same, looks like a spaceship. And then we get 
the brand new REX 200, which is the AX11000 rated model. That's Wi-Fi 6 12 stream. This is the thing, they're not talking about gigabits or megabits, they're talking about streams. The way they've achieved that with this particular model is this is tri-band. These are dual band, this is tri-band. So 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz 1, 5 gigahertz 2, and that's how they do it. Some multiple streams. Realistically, if you had some bizarre setup at your home where you've got a single phone and a single smart TV, you don't need all those streams. If you've got multiple users in the house, multiple devices, then multiple streams means you get more connection, faster speed. As the EFA builders really lay into their work, hammering away at the wood at the next booth, thank you chaps, we have here a very quick look at some hotspots. I'm not familiar with these products. These are existing products that are about to be updated to 5G. They are quite simply mobile phones without the phone-ness. So you take this device, put your SIM in it when you go traveling, and then you share that as your hotspot with your friends or other devices instead of giving them access to your personal phone. Here's the thing, because it's got the physical bulk, there's much more space inside for the antennae, which means that it actually gives you better coverage than a regular mobile phone. Your mobile phone, after all, is very thin. Look at these devices, look how thick they are. Now, these have extra ports, so they, they aid the connectivity, they aid the power. But even so, put a SIM in it, off you go. So that basically can be your mobile hub. They are relatively expensive, they're around about 300. Nonetheless, very interesting. When they become 5G, that'll be extra, extra interesting. And we finish with Mural. This is something I have not seen before and came as a complete surprise. This is a company that was bought by Netgear and it's essentially streamed art. What you have are picture frames. Two different sizes, relatively expensive. They're dimensioned, oddly enough, in inches. So we have the 19 by 29 and we have the 16 by 24. Prices do, uh, vary depending on the exact frame that you get, but essentially the smaller ones are 599 or 649, the bigger one 779 or 829. In round money, 600 quid and 800 quid. The idea is that they're going to stream artwork to you, and based on your preferences and what you tend to look at, they're going to stream more of what you like. They're not telling us anything about the screen technology, and of course these are screens. After all, the, the resolution of that image is completely immaterial. Frankly, it looks, from here, genuine. Obviously, get up close, you can see it's flat. Connectivity is naturally Wi-Fi, after all this is Netgear, but you do also have a port where you can insert an SD card, so you can upload your own artwork or photos, and then the app that comes with uh, Mural will convert the image to the correct uh, size and shape. However, basically every image uh, format that we're aware of is supported by these frames. The idea in the future is that this is going to be kind of part of the Orbi system. So as a repeater, it's... Uh, far more attractive than the average piece of Wi-Fi kit that's just plonked on a shelf. So you'll have this on your wall. Look at the space for an Orbi antennae. It's absolutely massive. And of course it's mains powered out of the, uh, behind the scenes. So there's plenty of space for antennae, plenty of space for power. It's a really nifty idea. So at first glance this has nothing whatsoever to do with Wi-Fi. In actual fact, it has quite a lot to do with Wi-Fi. That was Netgear at EFA 2019. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the bell button, subscribe. We'll let you know about new videos as they become available. I'm Leo Ward for Kit Guru. This is Netgear.